To send emails from your system I.O. account, you need to authenticate your domain. So let's learn how to do that in this video. On the left here, I've got my settings open in system I.O. And the way that you can get here is by going to uh, your settings. And when you go to settings, you're then going to want to go to the emails section. And as you can see here, I've already got okcomputer.foo, my primary domain set up. And when I click on the little icon here, you can see that I've got these different values. And these are things that I've punched into my domain registrar already. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to do this from scratch with another domain, meetingcentral.com, that I have. So I just wanted to show you this because this is the way you can see information on the DNS settings for any domains that you add to your system.io account. So on the right-hand side, I've got Namecheap. This is where I've registered meetingcentral.com. That's what we're going to connect to our system.io today. <clears throat> So when you're over here, you can see that in blue, it says click here to authenticate your domain. And basically, basically by authenticating your domain, it, it improves your deliverability of your emails and it lets it come from an email like Donovan at meetingcentral.com or whatever your domain is going to be. So the way we do this is we click on the link here and it asks for our domain name. Now, this is where we want to just type in our domain name. We don't want to put www or anything like that in front of it. I'm going to click save. It says domain is added and it's pending. Now what we need to do is we click on this little icon and it gives us this information. Now we need to take this information and we need to stick it into Namecheap or whatever your domain registrar is. So here I am in Namecheap and I've got Meeting Central pulled up and we're on the domain tab. I'm gonna go over to advanced DNS. And you can see I've already got some records in here already. So what I wanna do is add a new record. And the first one is, it's a CNAME record. So I'm gonna to go to CNAME and it wants the host and target here. So you can see there's a couple of things that we need to um, fill in. And the equivalent of those is ho uh, name and value. So the thing is, it's pretty particular. So you don't want to copy the whole entry here. You just want to grab the part right up to the dot. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to copy it. And that's going to be our host. And then for the target, we do want to grab everything over here. Paste that in. And you can click on the little uh, check mark to save the change. All right, we've got our first one done. Let's click Add New Record. We're going to do another C name, and we want to put in the host. And for the host, we're going to grab everything up to the dot. We're going to paste it in over here. And for the target, we're going to grab all of this information and paste it in and save. All right, our next record we're gonna add is another C name record. The host is gonna be everything up to the dot. Target is gonna be this. Okay, we'll save that. And then the last one is a text record. So I'm gonna click on add new record Scroll to the bottom here, text record, host is going to be dmark, and the value, now the, for the value, you can just click this little copy button here, paste that in, and save it. Okay, so actually that's about it. I'm going to close this window now. You'll see that it says pending, and... If I refresh, it's probably still going to say pending. And um, that's because um, this is DNS we're talking about here. So these DNS records take a little while to propagate across the Internet. And sometimes that can be a couple minutes, 10 minutes, could be a couple hours. So just be patient and keep on refreshing this page or just go have a cup of coffee or something while you wait. And then pretty soon this is going to change from pending to verified. 
And once it does, then you're good to use that domain as a sending uh, domain. So what you'd want to do at that point is that you'd want to come down to here, the verified email addresses. And you can see I've already got Donovan at okcomputer.foo. I can send from that email because I've already authenticated it with System.io. And if I click here to confirm your address, I could punch in Donovan at meeting central.com save and then as you can see it also says it's pending right here so um, we're just we're just in a waiting period so we just need to wait for that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually pause the video and I'm gonna come back when it's uh, changed from pending to verified just so you can see what that looks like and then we'll wrap up the video okay it's a little bit later in the day, and as you can see here, the uh, domain meetingcentral.com is marked as verified, so that's good. That means all of our DNS settings that we configured in Namecheap worked. Um, if you'll notice, though, there's one more one more step to do here, and that's uh, under the verified email addresses. This is still pending, and that's normal. So what we have to do at this point is we just have to go to our email, um, check our email, and click on a link, basically. So let's do that now. So here we are, confirm sender. You need to confirm this email address to use it as a sender email address in System.io. To verify your email address, click here. Confirm. There we go. And you'll see it's now verified. All right, so that wraps it up. That's how you authenticate your email in System.io so that you can have different uh, sending addresses. So maybe down here under sender, I might now want to change that to uh, Donovan at meetingcentral.com, um, that kind of thing. But um, you know, you can feel free to, to use whichever one makes more sense. All right, well, that's about it. If you still need your own System.io uh, account, I have an affiliate link in the description. I'd, I'd appreciate it if you use that if you're new to System.io. And stay tuned. I've got more System.io uh, tutorials coming. Thanks for watching.